As I was driving through the beautiful rolling countryside of Scotland on my way to Easdale, I discovered this delightful little lock. I had to stop and show you. Look at that. That is beautiful. You're looking at Loch Nell, not a very big loch, but a fairly remote loch as well. Sorry, I know I look a bit rough. So, it's day four, and I've traveled away from Inverary, um, past Oban, and then off the main roads. In fact, I'm on a single track road, which goes for four miles. I think I've done quite a good section of it. But then I spotted, spotted this beautiful, uh, look at it, it's just incredible. The sun's out, the sun is out, the ducks are out. no midges I don't know whether there's normally midges but um, certainly not today they don't like wind anyway you see the valleys over there it's gonna now I'm not gonna send my drone up I've got my drone with me I want to get to my destination, which uh, is probably going to be another half hour's drive. So I'll get there. And I'll show you where I've I actually planned, planned to take some shots. So, just a quick message about uh, yesterday's photos. It's been a bit, um, basically I've been here a number of days, but I've, I've been sort of counting just photography days. So I'm on day four. Day one was in um, um, uh, Dumfries and Galloway. And I took a trip to uh, Watcliffe. I came up to Scotland after two days, stayed in Inverary. And you've got, a, you've got a few shots of Inverary, but absolutely beautiful, beautiful uh, lock. <clears throat> And when the sun comes out and catches those hills, uh, it's great. The the photo of the pier, Inverary Pier, which I took, I um, probably I was disappointed actually because um, I took more than that. I don't know what I did. I did something wrong. Probably didn't press the shutter button properly, and I got one, but it wasn't dead sharp. So staying in Inverary, so see, I'll see whether I can get another uh, another one of that. Um, because it's um, it's quite special. Now I'm, I'll let you know where the destination is when I get there, just in case I don't get there. But I'm going to set off. It is on the coast. It's on the west coast of Scotland. It'll be looking over towards the Inner Hebrides, some of the islands of the Inner Hebrides. So we'll see what we get. And when I get there, it's probably going to be pretty quiet. There's no cars travelling down here. Um, I'm hoping I'm going to be able to park up, get the drone, send that up, so you can have a good view of uh, what's about. Okay, so with all of that... Yeah, with all of that, I'll catch you later. 
and I was still trying to get to my destination and I discovered another beautiful little gem. I didn't take any uh, b-roll any video at this location but I did take a few photos I want to show with you. The location is called Clacken Bridge uh, in the island of Seal and uh, the bridge you could argue is famous for being the first bridge over the Atlantic Ocean because that waterway that you see there isn't a river it's actually the ocean, it's seawater. The bridge was built in the 1790s and it has one foot in the mainland of Scotland in Argyll and the other outstretched onto the Isle of Seal. The weather at the time that I arrived was sort of changeable and there was some rain there but just enough diffuse light coming through the clouds and a little bit of sunshine to give this wonderful colour. And this, I guess, is my favourite photo of the bridge. There's some lovely colours there and you can see the reflection in the archway of the bridge in the river. I took it at uh, 77, 77 millimetres. I zoomed in quite a bit. And the uh, shutter speed is uh, 1 over 200. Uh, I was being, I was handheld, so I probably wanted to just make sure things were sharp, certainly for the bridge and the uh, trees in the background. I didn't have my tripod with me, I could be bothered, so I didn't do a, a long exposure. But I hope you agree, it's, uh, it's really, really nice. And off we go again, and I have to admit, by this time I was getting a little bit excited. I couldn't believe, though, for July in Scotland, how quiet the roads were. It was so peaceful. You were not crowded, there were loads of tourists. Uh, it was really, really enjoyable. destination it's called Easdale you could uh, be forgiven to think it's somewhere in Yorkshire or the Peak District but it's actually in the west coast of Scotland and if you haven't already you'll see some uh, drone footage of the uh, coastland which hopefully looks pretty spectacular from where I am down here I'm just actually taking a, um, a long exposure two minute exposure there which is just about to finish. Maybe a wee bit underexposed, but I'll play around with that. I'll do another shot without a two minute exposure. It's quite windy here as well, so the tripod's been buffeted. You might notice I've actually got my very sturdy tripod. It's because I've not had to walk too far. Um, I was going to spin you around because there's a jetty over there. It looks a bit dilapidated, but I think it might be a nice shot from a distance with my long lens. So I'll have a go at that. There seems to be regular boats, passenger boat trips to that island which I'll show you now. So way over there in the distance you can probably see the wooden jetty that leads out. Actually to be honest with you I think that leads out to the sea over there. That's an island which I'll tell you the name of or I'll put it up on the screen in a second and I keep seeing little sort of like um, dinghy boats setting off from this little harbour here cross over to the, oh, sorry about that, cross over to the island. So I'm going to take a long shot of that jetty, pier or whatever it may be, and then I'm going to have a walk over there. It is so beautiful here. 
I'm going to pan you around in a second so you can see the cliffs. It's teeming with wildlife and seabirds. But uh, look at that. Absolutely incredible. I did toy with the idea of, you know, skip, skipping up there, taking a shot from the top. And then I remembered I'd got my drone. So the drone saved a day. Um, there was a bit of a scary moment. <laughs> So when I show the drone footage, I'll show you because I sent it off in that direction and it just went a little bit round the corner and I lost, lost contact. So the remote control in my hand was not connected at all. Um, I had to jump around a bit, see if I could uh, boost the signal, press the home button and it automatically came back. But I thought I was going to donate my drone to, uh, to the locks of Scotland. Okay, let's see what these uh, shots look like. First of all, the long exposure, if it's any good, and then the long one of the, the jetty over there. I'll just need to change my lens. So as you can see, I just moved a bit further down the, uh, down the beach, if you want to call it that, it's quite rocky. I was over there, whoop, there, come here. Pretty much to where I was actually setting the drone off in that direction. Ah, it's so beautiful, isn't it? That's where the light is. What am I doing? I'm pointing in the wrong, di wrong direction. Anyway, we're going to take a shot of this jetty anyway. Um, you can see the brilliant thing about having these standard sturdy tripod is it doesn't get buffeted about as much in the wind, you know, and also this is a pretty heavy ball head. When it gets locked down, there's not much movement in the camera. I've got a long lens on. This is a 100 to 400 lens, extended, um, and I've got, I've got a, uh, I've just got a circular polarizer to try and take some of the glare off. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I've dialed it in in terms of most of the settings. I just need to make sure I've got the, got the um, polarizer on properly. Um, might need to lower it a bit. You can see I'm zoomed in here, zoomed in at 200 millimeters. And I'm going to focus on the jetty. So I just uh, bring that. Ooh, can you see that? I don't know whether you can actually. No, you probably can't see any of that. But I'm going to focus on the jetty. Okay, I think that's working. I can see a red dot on there and it's recording. So now you're hearing my voice, but we're talking over the video from the, my camera. Um, it looks pretty hazy actually to me. Let's see if I can... Uh, Yeah, so you can see the jetty anyway, um, and the hills in the background across the other side of the lock. I'm going to take a shot of that. I'm just going to check my check my uh, polarizer actually, and see if that makes any difference. And then um, and then we'll head over towards the jetty. Okay.
just want to say something as well so journey here is about an hour and 40 minutes it rained twice heavy showers on the way here but it hasn't rained once once I've been at the coast and it's still and it's still very very beautiful I can't tell you how fresh the air is the sea breeze coming off from the Irish Sea and if you can just about visualise right in the distance there these <laughs> huge amounts of clouds snow, snow topped hills over there it's just beautiful there you are, ferry coming through I think that might be coming from Oban going to one of the islands wherever could be, could be the Outer Hebrides, could be the Isle of Lewis, Harris, God knows what. Well. This is the car park for the ferry that takes people across to that small island over there. And as you can see, this is a village, very cute, very small. I'm wondering whether I can grab a little snack over there from the Oyster Bar and Restaurant. Shall find out. Right, hello. So that's the end of day four, more or less. You never know, I might spot something on the way back and appreciate it's quite bright there. Um, Easedale, definitely somewhere that is worth a visit if you're in the area because it's not really near anywhere. It's gonna take you a while to drive here. But when you do get here, you can nip across on the ferry over to the island, which I'll put the name up on the, on the screen because I can't remember it uh, and also there's a nice bar and restaurant if you want a beer or a drink or a coffee or something to eat um, there's something here there's actually one on the island as well actually so maybe that's worth a, a try I'm going to set off back now I can see some gorgeous light gorgeous light coming through hitting those hills over there in the distance but really nice actually anyway um enough of that i'm gonna get back um so thank you much thank you very much for watching so far and uh, i hope you like the at least i hope you like the drone footage all right bye believe it or not these photos were taken from the beer garden of the pub i went to after the proper photo shoot so I have to say that I think, really, this pub has the best views in the whole of the UK. See you next time.